Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss exercise number 1.2 from class 10 CBSC. So in the previous class, we have completed till question number 4. Today we will discuss in this video question number 5. Okay, let us start now. Question number 5. Check whether 6 to the power n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. Now the question asking that 6 to the power any number, 6 to the power any number can be ended with the 0 or not. Okay. So now let us see this very interesting question children. So try to understand okay. Before starting this sum, we'll discuss something now. Suppose I multiply like this 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 like that multiplying. Okay. So what do you think this one? This type of number I can say that always will be ending with 0. Why? It is ending with 0 you know because the factor 2 and the 5 are there. If the factor 2 and the 5 together are there in the prime factorization of any number then the number will be ending with 0. Let us see here now 2 5 is a 10, 10 3 is a 30, 34 is a 120. It's ending with 0 no? Then let us see another one now. 2 into 3 into 4 multiply and see ending with 0 or not 2 3 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 not ending with 0 then I will multiply 3 into 4 into 6 3 4 is a 12 12 6 is a 72 not ending with 0 I will multiply 7 9 ok 7 9 is a 63 this also not ending with 0 8 and the 9 8 9 is a 72 not ending with 0 9 5 is a 45 not ending with 0 5 is there but not ending with 0 here also 2 is there not ending with 0 what I told you if 2 and the 5 are there in the prime factorization of any number then the number will be compulsory ending with 0 what the question given now 6 to the power n question is given that 6 to the power n can be ended with 0 or not First, let us find. Let us find prime factorization of six n. So don't worry about the n. It can be any any number. It can be any integer, positive integer. Okay but we know 6 means what are the prime factor what are the factors of 6 1 2 3 6 but 1 is not the prime number 6 is not the prime number what are the prime numbers now 2 and the 3 so prime factor of you otherwise you can do like this 2 3 is a 6 now so 6 can be written as 2 into 3 to the power n then after that you can write n is taken common 2 to the power n 3 to the power n so we found the prime factorization of 6n but the prime factorization is 2 to the power n and the 3 to the power n only we have only we have only 2 2 is the factor and the 3 is also factor but 5 is not there so that means what do you think this number will be ending with 0 any power if you are putting any power also will not be ending with 0 so let us see if 6n is to be is to be ended with the digit is to be ended with the digit 0 then its prime factorization its prime factors should have To, to and the 5 then its prime factor should have 2 and the 5 okay 
so therefore but 6n Six n prime factorization is prime factorization is two to the power n into three to the power n. Okay, there is no there is no factor five. There is no factor five. Therefore. 6 to the power n cannot be and that with the digit 0 okay once again I'm telling you now first I found the prime factorization of 6 to the power n I got this one but we have already the concept the prime if the number is going to be ended with 0 each prime factorization should have 2 and 5 as factors but here 2 is there 5 is not there any factor other factor also will come but 2 and the 5 should be compulsory okay is a merge so now if 6n is to be ended with a digit 0 then its prime factors should have 2 and the 5 but 6 to the power n prime factorization is 2 to the power n and the 3 to the power n there is no factor 5 therefore 6n cannot be ended with 0